genesis of periodic classification. The word genesis means that from the order at which something was formed from. So the modern periodic table that we know now was always not the, this. I mean, this was not what they started with. Instead, there were various types of periodic tables that were proposed by various scientists. And in this video, we are going to be talking about two of those periodic tables. First one is the Dobernier's Law of Trials. So this was proposed by Johann Dobernier, who was a German chemist in the year 1870. So what he did was, uh, I will look at, I will show you the periodic table first, and then we will get back to this. So what he did was he grouped elements as groups of three. And according to him, the atomic weight of the first and the third divided by two was equal to the atomic weight of the second element. So lithium plus potassium by two equals to the atomic weight of sodium. Similarly, calcium and barium for strontium and chlorine and iodine for bromine. And he called this group of three as a triad. So he grouped three elements and called them as a triad. And the mean of the atomic mass of the first and the third element is e approximately equal to the atomic mass of the second element. And he called this the law of triads. He also noticed in 1829 that the triads, the elements of the triads had almost similar physical and chemical properties. But the issue with the law of triads was it was only followed by a few elements. So there, there had to be a better way for classification of the elements. The second we'll be learning about is D. Chan Cotois classification. So Electra Alexander Emile Beguet, D. Chan Cotois arranged the elements in a spiral order. And he published his work in here 1862. He was not a chemist, but he was a geologist and a mineralogist. So what he did was, first of all, let's look at this. He arranged the elements in the form of a cylinder. Okay. And if uh, and he did it so with uh, 16 units. Okay. So there were 16 units. So it started from uh, hydrogen and it would have gone from, gone to oxygen. So again, oxygen would have been here. I'm so sorry. This is not a very clear uh, diagram, but he got, and he noticed that the elements which had similar properties which would appear vertically on the cylinder and he called this as a vis telluric way or a telluric helix this was because the tellurium element the element tellurium was in the center of the graph but the issue the problem with this particular periodic table was the fact that it did not garner a lot of attention from chemists because in his paper which he submitted to uh, in I mean and published in France did not have the diagram of the periodic table so scientists don't really understand what uh, it you know what what it meant uh, also the other issue was that he actually did publish a it was actually spread through a geological pamphlet and that dealt with a lot of geology and science. chemists were not really interested in geology at that point in time. So uh, his periodic table actually got famous because after Mendeleev's periodic table, which was, uh, which came out, I think, in the year 1865. So, yeah, so uh, he was actually the first to arrange the elements in the increasing order of the atomic weights. So in this video, we had learned about the Dubernier's law of triads and D. Chan Quartois classification. In the next video, we will be talking about, I think, uh, Newland's law of octaves and Lothar Meyer's uh, classification as well. So do check it out.